Let's put those files out with the rest of the trash. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to show you how to delete some files off of your computer to help you free up some space so that you have more storage for those video clips and those other assets that you use for your videos. Let's jump off into Pinnacle Studio and make it happen. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, and I'm about to show you how to save some space on your hard drive. But before I do that, I want to share a few things with you. Remember to like, comment, and share this video. When you do those three things, it lets people know that the content in this video is good. So make sure that you do that so that other people don't miss out on these fantastic videos. Always remember to smash the subscribe button. Smash the subscribe button so that you don't miss content that I bring to YouTube. When you do that, you get notifications letting you know whenever I upload new content. That way you are learning more about the program and you're ingesting beautiful content that will help you make better videos. So make sure that you smash the subscribe button. Now that we're done with that, let's get to deleting some files. First off, deleting files helps you to free up space on your hard drive. You could be using up a lot of hard drive space due to uh, videos that you're rendering or just um, really putting together a lot of video content and having a lot of media assets and things like that. And sometimes you need to delete some of those files. Now, sometimes you want to combine those files into zip folders and things like that, but that's a video for another time. Today, we're just talking about deleting files and saving space on your hard drive. So the first thing I want to show you how to do is to delete files off of your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the File Explorer folder. And that opens up the quick access area, but I'm going to go to this PC. And now that I'm in this area, it shows all of the drives and all of the optical drives and everything that I have on the computer. I'm going to go up here to view. And the reason why I'm going up here is because I want to make sure that hidden items is checked. I need to make sure that hidden items is checked so that I can see all of the folders on the system. So now that I have that checked, I'm going to go down here to my C drive. I'm going to go to users. And I'm going to go to the main user or administrative uh, user on this computer that have administrative access and that's myself and my beautiful wife eh? my girl you know her baby you know her and now I'm going to go to app data this is one of the folders that would have been hidden if we didn't click on show hidden items now I'm going to go to local. And from here, I'm going to find Pinnacle Studio 19. And I'm going to go to the studio folder. And then I'm going to go to the scratch folder. Now, here you will find a render folder. The render folder houses all of the rendered video files that Pinnacle Studio rendered every time you bring video down into the timeline. So after time, this folder could have a lot of data in it and you might need to clear it out from time to time 
to make sure that you have um, the most space on your hard drive that you need. Also, it's also a good idea to clear out the render folder whenever you have issues with videos or maybe the you get like the circle with the arrow or you get something saying that there's something wrong with the frame of your video. It's a good time to delete and clear out your render files. So when I double click on the render folder, you see there's a folder for temporary files and then all of these rendered files that are here. All right. Now I don't have that many in here because I cleared this out recently because I do it on a regular basis. Um, just keep in mind that when you clear out this folder, if you go back to any old projects, it's going to have to render again from the beginning because the render files have been removed. So if I wanted to, I could just click on the files that I want to. Let's say I just want to remove them all. Right click and then do delete. Or I could actually just right click this render folder and do delete and I can get rid of it and when I go back in the pinnacle as soon as it renders another video it will create another render folder and it'll start putting things into that folder now this was a long roundabout way to do it there's a quicker way to do it so let's close this out if I go back into pinnacle studio and I go to setup control panel and I go to storage locations at the bottom here it says hey here's where your render files are do you want to go there I could click on this and it'll actually let me select a different place to put my render file but I'm not going to do that or I could just click on this button which says delete render files if I do that it will delete all the information from the render folder so I'm going to click on that I'm going to click on apply and I'm going to click on OK. If I go back to that location, you see that all of those render files are gone. All right, so let's say you have items that you want to delete from your hard drive and you're in Pinnacle, you're like, hey, you know what? I don't need this file anymore, this demo MP4 file. I don't need this anymore. I can right click on it from here and I can go to delete selected. And it gives me two options to remove from the library only and remove from library and delete media and or projects and auxiliary files from your hard drive. So if I choose remove from library only, it really is just going to remove it right now. And the next time I open up Pinnacle, it's going to reconnect it if I have a watch folder where this item, if this item's in a watch folder, it's just going to reconnect it when I open up Pinnacle Studio the next time. But if I'm like, I want to get rid of it altogether, then I could just go ahead and do remove from library and uh, delete media from the hard drive. If I click on OK, it'll remove that file from my hard drive. It'll be gone. So just be careful in choosing this option if you decide that you want to remove something from your hard drive. Now, if you want to select multiple files, you can go to a location where there's a bunch of files. You can click on one file. Hold on your shift button and click another file and it'll select all of them and you can right click and choose delete selected and you can delete all of them. It shows all the files that you selected. You can delete all of them as well from either just moving, removing them from the library or removing them from your hard drive. Of course, you can also go to your file explorer, go to your location on your computer and delete them as well. Of course, you know how to do that if you don't then that's a tutorial for somebody else's channel because this is just about Pinnacle Studio and I'm done. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, you know the routine. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on that, it helps people know that the content in the video is good. Comments, leave me your comments, I'll give you my answers. 
If I can't help you with a question, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last but not least, subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. If you don't smash the subscribe button, then you won't get information on the uploads that I do, and you'll be missing out whenever I bring new content to YouTube. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.